You are so loud. What could it be? It's the heir to House Mortel. He's just become engaged. <sighs> He's been matched with one of Margrave Hubrick's younger daughters. How's that possible? That impoverished backwater knight joining the Margrave's house? <clears throat> <sighs> That'll leave a blood red stain. <clears throat> oh, I, I apologize for startling you. Go on. Which of his daughters is it? Ah. She's the fourth one, Licorice Meal Huberic. Twin sister to Petra, who was recently engaged to a different noble, Duke Kadlacek's grandson Squall. She's the one involved in the recent kidnapping. That's right. It appears to be an engagement to prove her innocence in the wake of the abduction incident. At least that's the vulgar rumor people are spreading. I see. Do you suppose there's any possibility that the Hubricks intend to wait a few years until the memory of all this drama has faded away? <laughs> And to solve the engagement at that time? I don't think that's the case. Oh? Ubrick must have another motive. Is it to set others at ease regarding their family's intentions? Oh, that makes sense. Once they joined with Margrave Katlicek's house, the sway of House Hubrick grew significantly stronger. Indeed. Binding their house to a minor one like Mortown is quite a strategic move. Essentially making the case he has no further intentions of gaining power through marriage politics. Truly impressive. It's exactly the kind of thing that shrewd man would think of. And there's one more thing. Though it is small now, he sees potential in the Thief of Mortown to grow into a bountiful land on par with my own. That could never happen. But what if, when that wasteland was first granted to him 20 years ago, it was a trap to ensure young Lord Casserole's failure? I've heard it took them years to produce their first harvest. Though, in the past three years, they reduced their wheat yield and began to cultivate beans. The result? By using the abundance of beans as fertilizer to nourish the soil, they've improved subsequent wheat harvests. That's brilliant! And who do you think was behind that bright idea? Could it not have been the suggestion of that silver-haired child? Impossible! You know he's only nine years old, right? Yes, well. Have you forgotten when they came here to negotiate compensation for the bandits? I was surprised to find that Lord Mortown was not the one conducting the negotiations. It was his child. And I'll admit, he completely got the better of me. There's no room for doubt. That sly old fox has noticed the boy's potential. I've been outmaneuvered. <laughs> <laughs>